And in this quick video, I'll show you how the charging on the Energica works. So for the Energica, you have two options to charge. You need the key to open the latch, which is here. And that just pops, well, I'll turn around. That uh, pops up the seat. Like, <laughs> those are my gloves. And then you have the, uh, you can pick either the type two, which is this plug, or you have CCS, which is the quick charging. If you remove both uh, plugs, Th those are the genetica options, but I'll go on the road in this video so that you can see me using uh, all options. One of the options is uh, really not suited for on the road charging because it's just too slow at uh, 3 kilowatts or 3000 watts. I think it's around 5 hours that it would take to fully charge. This is one of those AC chargers, so this is uh, charging using alternating current. This one is uh, limited to 11 kilowatts, but even the 22 or higher kilowatt chargers, it won't make a difference because the bike itself is limited to 3 kilowatts and, and using this system. With the zero system, you can use these to go up to 12 kilowatt. Depend well, no, you need the 22 kilowatt versions. But other than that, you can use this type of chargers. And then you can see the plug here. This is the type two plug. Then you remove just one cap. If you also remove the bottom cap here, then you get the CCS charge connection, which is used for the faster. CCS charging. This is just a charge animation. I believe it um, it changes according to how much needs to be charged. And here you can see that it's currently charging at the maximum AC charging speed. It goes to 100% by default. It will take 2 hours and 20 minutes in this case to charge from around 60%. It's 58 on the dash. Uh, 3 kilowatts, 13 amp. And then... Yeah, the range is, I think that range is just the current range uh, limited. Well, 110 is just the current range of the bike. This is the 21.5 kilowatt hour version. You, in this case, it's on, but you can toggle it off, of course, and remove the key and leave it charging if you want to. And here I'm approaching a faster DC charging station. This is uh, provided by Lidl, uh, a grocery shop where you can uh, charge for free as long as you have... Um, if you go in and buy something, you can use these chargers for free. It's uh, These have um, built-in cables because they need those thick cabling. Uh, so that's the benefit, you don't need to carry your own cable. Yeah, and uh, obviously people will ask stuff when they see your charging. That's something you'll have to get used to. The charging station itself goes to 50 kilowatts. My bike was currently set to the default uh, 60 amps, which will limit it to around 20 kilowatts. But there is a trick with the mode button where you can have it charged up to... 75 amp and then it will uh, charge at 24 kilowatts so even faster all i had to do is uh, select the right cable the ccs one it shows the um, state of my battery and then i just had to select uh, start charging one button on the screen and uh, everything was fine i had the key on i believe but you don't really have to have it keyed on, you can remove the key. Of course you need the key to release the uh, seat first. Then it, by default it goes to 80% SOC, and then the 60 amp that I was talking about. It's the mode button, if you move it to the left I believe, then you can increase that 60 amps if you move it to the right it will decrease the 60 amps in case you want to charge slower here you can see that uh, for around well it will charge up to 80 percent but even then the 
charge time was uh, it was just below 10 minutes so it's a very quick way of charging up on the road this is for sure the way to go I was here parked at the wrong side as you can see so I had to move the cable around but um, this was my first charge so um, I'll just remember for the next time that I should uh, uh, turn the bike around or park on the other side but that's it for a quick overview on how to charge on the Energicas